Hey all here OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Annie Digital All-in-One Home Security Kit. This is their flagship product and it retails for $250. For the price, you're getting a centralized home monitoring solution including the DVR box in addition to four HD quality cameras that have dedicated functions. For instance, one has a PIR sensor, one has a siren function, so an extra loud alarm, and one also has a gas sensor that you might place in a kitchen. So depending on the room and the setup, you would mount different camera cameras in various places. They all have uh, infrared lights embedded on the camera as well, so they can be used for nighttime video monitoring without any problems, up to 20 meters. And you can see that the camera has a 2 megapixel sensor, which seems a little bit low on paper, but it captures HD quality video uh, and saves you a little bit on the bandwidth as well. Now, like I said, this is a centralized, detached home monitoring solution. So unlike a lot of the other more commercial products we've seen, which have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, so it allows you to monitor things uh, wirelessly on your phone. This one doesn't have that feature. It has this built-in DVR box because it comes included with a 1 TB uh, hard drive. So you can actually store all the video files locally and then monitor it uh, on a computer. The company here is interesting because they also spent quite a bit of uh, extra effort in marketing. In fact, um, they sent over some of their images of how they were promoted on let's say, Yahoo Finance as well as on some ads in New York City. So it seems like they definitely spent quite a bit of attention on trying to market their products to a wider range of consumers. So we'll have to see if the product holds up to those marketing claims. In the first box, we have the central DVR unit instead of the cameras, and there's also a quick installation guide, which I will probably recommend that you guys read over if you are purchasing this, uh, just because, again, it does require a little bit more of a formal setup, as you can see with the wires, compared to a regular home security camera. And this is what their software it looks uh, looks like. And one clarification I want to make is you can actually hook this thing up to the internet as well. So it looks like there's QR codes. So there is a companion app on your smartphone that you can download, but it's not the main priority because uh, there isn't Wi-Fi built on in. If you want to hook up the central box, you would have to use Ethernet, which is wired internet on the side here. So definitely um, it gives you quite a few options. It's very versatile. It's uh, again more of a professional setup. There's also a mouse, which is very interesting. So it's a USB-based optical mouse. You simply plug this onto the back of the DVR because you can actually use it as is. It's almost like a small desktop or computer since it's a centralized hub. You can connect this thing to a monitor uh, or onto a display using VGA or HDMI and then plug this onto the box and then control everything without the need for third-party software that you would want to install, let's say, on a computer. So it's really a all-in-one dedicated solution, like I said. There's also mounting uh, screws and even a small remote. So if you want to very quickly find a specific timestamp to shuffle between parts of your video to search something up, uh, the box is made out of metal and its size is comparable to, let's say, a smaller netbook uh, or a small ultra portable in terms of size. So not bad. It takes up a little bit of space. The front also features a few LED lights that will tell you the status when it's recording, when an alarm is triggered, and when it's actually turned on. And the second box has all of these tiny boxes inside, so you are getting quite a lot of stuff for your cash. Uh, the first one here is probably camera number one, and you can see this is how you hook it up to both the audio and the video ports on the back of the DV box that we showed you guys previously. But the size of this thing is very similar to other security cameras that we've checked out already. This one here, you can see, has two megapixels. Uh, it's the one that probably has, let's say, the PIR sensor, I'm guessing, which is the heat-activated sensor. You can see all of these infrared lights. The plate here is made out of glass, and that is the camera lens. Um, this is not specifically advertised as being waterproof or element proof, so I wouldn't, you know, put it onto really you know, rainy outdoor environments, it's probably still going to be best suited for indoor use. Uh, that's something to point out. And then this is the mounting bracket on the back. Here's camera number two, which has the speaker or the siren, which is ultra loud. And again, a very similar build and design overall. Camera number three is just a regular one, doesn't have any additional sensors on the front, so it just has the lens. And number four, which is probably the gas one that has additional sensor there. Finally, this little box, we have all the cables. So again, as you saw there, the security cameras don't have very long cables by themselves. And since this is not a wireless kit, uh, you do need to hook it up. And if you are running across different rooms, you do need to use long cables and then attach these onto the ceilings. So we have the box now connected to the cameras as well as connected to a monitor. You can see there's blue LEDs in the top that will illuminate when it's turned on. The first setup screen that we have, it just says, welcome, thanks for choosing our product. And we can use the cursor. You can also connect a keyboard if you need to input anything. 
using the USB ports on the back of the box. So, so, and if you don't have a keyboard connected, you can tap on one of the text boxes and that will pop up a virtual keyboard that you can use to enter a password. Now we are in the display screen and you can see it's segmented into just these four zones for the four cameras. I have only connected two for now, so it's showing up as cam one and cam two. Uh, and the bottom two, I again don't have connected, but the Cam 2, as you can see here, is the one that has the siren, so it's also going to show an extra icon on the top right-hand corner if the camera that you're connected has an extra sensor embedded onto it. I can double tap on the text box to full screen the camera uh, to have a better view. It's a fixed focus lens, but it's actually a pretty high definition uh, one as far as looking at good details as well as good colors across the board. It has a pretty wide field of view, I would say roughly 160 degrees or so, so very similar to other security cams I've seen in the past, um, and you can get a bit of a fish eye effect in the top corners. This is actually a chime that you can see is moving in and out of the screen. Looks good. There is the resolution 1080p timestamp on the top right hand corner. You can then search by a date, by a timestamp, things like that when you want to view back images and search. I can also change the image properties such as the period where I want it to be recording specifically for this one camera. I can also change things like the brightness along with the saturation, so indoors it's going to be a little bit more challenging just because the lights are getting pretty low right now, so it's getting almost dark, but uh, it's still capturing a good amount of detail. The walls as well as the most images are in focus without too many problems, and it will detect motion and movements and people walking without problems. Since this is a wired system and not wireless over Wi-Fi, the benefit is you have really quick transmission speeds. There is no latency or lag. So as objects move, you'll be capturing them in real time with good frame rates compared to a lot of Wi-Fi systems, which will lag because your bandwidth is limited, uh, Wi-Fi might be choppy, and then the result isn't quite as good. It's now dark enough indoors after turning off the lights so that infrared mode has been activated automatically. We can see that with the first image, which is the example of the hallway. So you can still make out details if you look closely. You can see the images and the pictures hung on the hallway, and as, pe as people walk into view, you'll still be able to make out their features. Under additional controls, I can change things like zoom levels. So I can zoom into an image, change kind of the focus by uh, kind of selecting different parts of the screen. But what we aren't able to do is pan and tilt. And here's an example of the playback screen is alike. It is very similar to something like a video editor. And here's a timestamp. You can take a look at parts uh, and segments, times, uh, and you can also scrub ahead by clicking, and you can see that this allows me to navigate through uh, the history of this camera. Here I can change the display so it goes by one hour or 30 minutes or two hours, 24 hour intervals, and I can also scrub ahead by fast forwarding through the footage by four times and then pausing at a specific time to see more details. That's our hands-on review of the Annie 4 channel DVR security system. I think for $250 it's actually a pretty good value considering most IP Wi-Fi cameras sold at premium stores like Best Buy might sell for around $200. And this thing is not that much more expensive but you're getting four cameras for the really the price of one in addition to a 1TB hard drive. It also is a more powerful and versatile solution than many of the other more commercial offerings that we seen, namely because uh, reason one, it's harder to hack. If you keep it offline, you can store everything locally uh, instead of remotely to the cloud, which has a bigger risk of being lost or breached. And secondly, since it doesn't require internet to store the video footage, you also have smoother video quality as a whole. Performance is also pretty good both in day and night. And of course, we have these four additional sensors, which could be quite useful for offices, which may want a bit more control over how their uh, security footage is captured. So thanks for watching this video here at OS Reviews. This has been the Annie 4 Channel Security System.